in times of chaos and uncertainty, people are more susceptible to deception, seeking stability and a sense of security. Revelation 17, 12 to 14 highlight three essential points. First, the political powers unite and give their power and authority to the beast. Second, this on the fire forces wages war against Jesus, the Lamb, and third, the final battle, Christ and his followers emerge victorious. The beast does not win, Jesus does. Throughout history, leaders have capitalized on crisis to consolidate power as seen in collapse of the Roman Empire. Roman Emperor Constantine turned to religion and through the partnership of the church and state, he sought to unite the empire during a tumultuous time. The adoption and sanctification of Sunday in the 4th century served as a strategic move to unify the empire, blending political and religious motivation. In today's world, we see a similar lack of trust in institutions and government, with millions questioning the moral fitness of those in power. Revelation prophesies identified the beast power as a religious and political union that many may view as the solution to the global turmoil. However, as prophecy foretells, this system will ultimately wage war against Jesus and his followers. It is crucial to recognize how quickly and significant changes can occur, particularly in the time of crisis. While we may not know the exact and specific details of what lies ahead, we must prepare ourselves spiritually to face what challenges may arise. As believers, we must remain vigilant, recognizing the potential for deception in the time of chaos. We must turn to God's word and the guidance of the Holy Spirit to navigate through these difficult times, ensuring that our faith in Christ remains unwavering. Let us pray for wisdom and discernment, understanding the world turmoil can lead to false solution and deceptive powers. May our heart be steadfast in our devotion to God and may our encourage, may we encourage one another to remain faithful and true even as the world around us swayed by the false promises of stability. May we remain faithful and that is the nugget. I'm happy you can join today. Study your lesson. I will see you tomorrow.